All right, it's a sad day. It's a very, very sad day. I just found out, I, I came to Family Video because I had a free rental uh, to Family Video, which I shared on Twitter, so follow me on Twitter, but I pulled up and I found out they're closing. There's a, they're, they've been closing for two weeks. I didn't know this, I live like a mile down the street. Uh, so I'm a little bit saddened inside, I'm scared, I'm anxious. I'm gonna go in and see what they have, if they have anything left. The shelves look a little bit bare from here, uh, but you know what, I'm gonna hold out hope uh, to find like that special golden magical mystical nugget just hiding somewhere uh, And then maybe it'll be hiding in the adult section in the back of the store I always know if you go into the back of the adult section in family video There's always like a weird guy in the corner It looks like the end of Blair Witch Project where someone's in the corner and the camera starts shaking That's probably what's going to happen. So with all that said Let's go into family video Welcome to the Inside of Family video. It is a bit depressing, like I said, but I would say 60% of the store was empty by this point, and I was so angry at myself I didn't know about this sale days beforehand, because by this point, all the great, good shit was sold out. They had a ton of titles left on DVD, but I was looking for Blu-ray, and most specifically 4K, and there was only a handful of 4Ks in this entire store, which I, I searched through every movie to find them. Uh, and right back here is the uh, the sales price of everything. A lot of great deals, like things are cut in half or maybe one fourth the price. I, I just wish I would have came days earlier to find all the good deals. And this right here, I don't know what the hell this is, but it scared me. It looks like ET on crack. Ah. All right, guys, uh, this is sort of sad. Like, I'm looking for all the remaining 4K movies that they have. There's only like five in the store. Um, I have one right now I, i'll show it to you after we leave but i wish i would have known about this a few days ago um but yeah it's just like another one bites the dust man by the way these shelves right here are five dollars a piece they're actually really big shelves i just i don't really have anywhere to put them i wish i did Don't ever watch Kindergarten Cop 2, please, you're better than that. Uh, so the store is about to close in five minutes and I was desperately searching for any great movies hiding somewhere, just anything magical and mystical I could get my hands on. And I really wanted 4K movies, I was hoping they were hiding somewhere. Uh, the only unfortunate thing was they had some Disney Blu-rays I wanted, but they had their covers were printed out with like computer paper and like crappy ink. Selection. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. Would you watch some movies? I don't know what's happening right now. It's super late. I sort of look like Rob Lowe right now from Tommy Boy back in the mid-1990s. This is what I look like when I have no gel in my hair. And with all that said, let's talk about some of the movies I picked up at Family Video. Now, keep in mind, not all Family Videos are closing down. It's, I think, 150 stores out of four or five hundred stores. I love Family Video. I've worked with them in the past. Um, but yeah, I picked up only a few movies. And the first one, you know what? I'm, I was going to save this for last, but I'm just going to get it out. Get it out of the way. The fucking fanatic. This is one of the most phenomenal modern day comedy films that is unintentional. But at the same time, it's a work of art. It's gold. It's directed by Fred Durst of Limbiscuit and starring the great John Travolta. John Travolta tried in this movie. He was really trying. <laughs> I gotta go poo. Yeah, this is the, the great unintentional modern day comedy film. It's like we had The Room 20 years ago. Now we have The Fanatic. And I'm so grateful for this. And I probably would never buy this on Blu-ray. But for $2, I will buy The Fanatic on Blu-ray, just to remember that family video that was closing down. And you know what? I could go watch this again with a group of friends with a lot of alcohol, which would only make it better. So go please watch The Fanatic, directed by Fred Durst. You won't be sorry.
Next up, The Jungle Book. I was never a hardcore fan of the Disney animated Jungle Book. Uh, I was I liked everything else, but this never just translated to me as a kid. I, I was too busy crying watching Dumbo. I was a weird, dark kid. Anyway, as far as this film goes, I actually think the live-action remake of this by Disney is probably the best live-action Disney remake they've ever made. And I actually think it... A, it improved slightly over the story of this, but you know, it's still fun to watch Mowgli in blue and also the uh, early nineties, mid nineties version of the jungle book with the grown up Mowgli. Who's all ripped. Uh, that's an out of print DVD that I want to find anyway. Um, yeah, for $2, I'm sort of a completist when it comes to Disney and I kind of want to own all the classic Disney movies on Blu-ray just to say I do, you know, Disney plus isn't enough. I need to hold a physical copy. And speaking of Disney movies, this is one of my favorite and probably one of the most underrated Disney flicks of all time. It's the 1963, the sword in the stone. This is just a great film. And even when they were making this movie, the budget kept getting cut. So they had to uh, really sacrifice some of the scenes and a little bit of the animation and some of the voice acting is a little hokey. Like the uh, the main character here, three different kids voiced him. And for many years, I thought I was crazy when I watched this movie because his voice just changes from sentence to sentence. It's like a little kid, an older kid, and like another kid who sounds nothing like the other two kids. But yeah, apparently three different kids voiced this character, plus Merlin the Wizard. There's a great wizard duel in this movie that's a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. I believe there's a live action of this in the works at Disney. It'll probably suck. Uh, but nevertheless, this is great. And by the way, I just watched this on Disney Plus the other night, and then I found it at Family Video. But for two bucks, I'll buy this on Blu-ray. And last, but I don't know if this is least, I actually have not seen The Equalizer 2. It just sort of looked like a mediocre, disposable movie that was coming out. I, I liked the first one. It was okay, but I would never watch it again. I like Denzel. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll check this out. It's on 4K for a couple of dollars. I figured why not get it I mean if if I don't like it I'll trade it in or something down the road for something else but yeah 4k blu-ray for two bucks uh yeah I I don't know did you guys like the equalizer twos or or is it just instantly forgettable let me know and by the way I got all of those for like nine dollars that's a pretty good deal in my opinion because of the animated Disney movies which cost 20 something dollars brand new I would have bought more movies uh, but yeah, like I said, there were some that were printed, like the covers were printed with like some cheap printer paper. And I was like, I can't put that on my shelf. It'll make me feel icky inside. Uh, but with all that said, before I take off, I have a few questions for you guys. But first, I want to give a few shout outs to a few awesome Patreon members who really help make things possible, like, you know, being able to get a new GoPro camera, or just pay the internet bill so I can upload videos so you guys can look at my stupid face. The first one goes to Andrew Smith, who claims to be my number one fan. I believe him. Uh, but yeah, big thanks, Andrew. You're you're awesome. The next one goes to Ricardo Franco, my good pal from the West Coast, who always joins the live streams. Uh, been a supporter for a long time. Ricardo, I've told you once, and I'll tell you again, anytime I meet you in person, one day, somehow, I'm going to give you a nice hug, and I'm going to squeeze you real tight until you scream, and then I'm not going to let go. That sounds weird, but it's true. The next one goes to another longtime supporter, uh, Don Bruno, who goes by Bruno, but I like to call him Don Bruno. I don't know why. Just a unique name. Uh, awesome guy who's been supporting me, always messages me, has the longest messages I've ever read that go so in-depth, and they're they're always fascinating to read. So big thanks, man. And the last one goes to my good pal, Patrick, who lives overseas, who's a fitness guru. He has a fitness YouTube channel, and I've actually been slacking in the gym uh, because it was closed. Then I bought some gym equipment. Now it's outside of my garage collecting dust. I got lazy this year, guys, but I'm going to pick it back up, rest assured. Uh, yeah, I'm slowly shriveling away, but if you guys don't want to shrivel away and gain some muscle mass and get fit, uh, my pal Patrick has a YouTube channel talking all about fitness. He has a 30-day uh, workout program, nutrition planner, personal support techniques, corrections video. So yeah, if you're looking for some muscle growth or to lose a little bit of body fat or whatever, uh, he has some awesome programs, some free videos you can watch on his channel. I'll put a link to his channel down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, it felt good to give you guys a new vlog video, a brand new flip trip style video. It's been a while. I've been doing a lot of weekly live streams and I just really like doing those. You know, that's why I started YouTube was just to like interact and connect with you guys. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go old school with this one and just kind of, you know, go into a store and buy shit that I don't want and don't need. But I do it anyway, because it's what I do. So anyway, guys, leave your thoughts, your opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to go poo now.